all right so check it out man i got these two nice kettles um cast iron kettles but as you can see they rusty you know what i'm saying both of them one is i think this one is worse than this one but i'll show y'all how to restore these you can even see I can come right now if i want really you know chip some of this off of the inside right now if i really wanted to but i'm not even gonna do all that right now um been looking at a pretty easy method look at that look at my hands rust all over them bad boys but um i got a method to get all this rust off pretty much all you're gonna need is vinegar um and some scrubbies now, that's at the very least from what i'm seeing um i went ahead and got copper uh scrubbing pads and stainless steel scrubbing pads and i also got these uh steel wire brushes that you know you put on the end of a drill also got a set of these I'm probably going to be using these before I use the uh, hand ones. Um, you know, I probably use the hand ones to tighten up little close, tight, small spots. But, um, and I got more white vinegar inside. And over here, I got some just random assorted, random uh, other vinegars that are they're pretty much experiments that they're just different type of fruit vinegars that I'm you know just gonna get rid of and what you can't see down here at the bottom is I got me a tub now what I'm gonna do and I start doing it now is both of these kettles can fit in here so I'm gonna drop both of these in here open this one up and the first thing I'm gonna do is actually fill the kettles themselves with vinegar um some people use a 50 50 mix half vinegar half water I'm gonna start out with uh Yeah, this got 5% acidity, so I'm going to just um, use this straight vinegar on the inside of the pots or the kettles. Both of them. And fill those up all the way to the top. And I'm pretty much just going to let this vinegar sit in here for a good couple hours um let's call it i'll probably check it in a couple hours come back check it at six hours come back tomorrow check it at 12 hours that type of deal What's getting splashed around the outside is all good too because that's what I'm using the uh, the extra experiment vinegars for. That's gonna be on the outside, um, and I am gonna end up adding water to you know to the kettles and to the tub itself. But I want to start off with pretty much straight vinegar, only a little bit of added water from me. Um, you know, obviously is is already water in the vinegar, but for right now, I'm starting off strong to strip this rust off. All 
All right, and the rest of the way, I'm gonna fill it up just over top of everything so everything's covered with water. All right, and that'll do it. I try to uh, get it evened out. Kind of on the incline. There we go. Make sure it's nice and flat. And um, now we just leave this for the night, and uh, I come back and check it tomorrow. All right, back at the vinegar bath after almost 24 hours. And you can see it's looking pretty trifling up in there. So uh, I think the first thing that I'm going to try to use is these uh, steel scrubbies, steel scrub pads. But um, like I said, y'all see how trifling it's looking up in there. So I'm definitely finna strap it up before I get up in that thing. You feel me? Double gloving it. And uh, we'll pull something out. Let's see what it's looking like first. A leaf up in there. All right. Alright, um, I think it's doing really good, but it's still a nice layer that's just sitting on this cast iron on the inside and the outside. So, I'm gonna see what it look like hitting it with the scrubby, but I may give this an extra day of soaking in here. Here go the other one. But tell me something off. So I think I'm gonna use this as my test piece. If you see, um, there's still some rust on there, but just, you know, I can pretty much scrub my finger across it and take it off. So. But this lid doesn't have the same amount of rust caked onto it like the inside of the kettles do. So, I think these are going to need a little bit more time. Before I start scrubbing them. Although, I do think um, if, you know, I could go ahead and scrub them now and get a good result. But, it's already getting dark today. And for me, um, it'd just be easier and better for me to do this on another day, like tomorrow. Um, so, I'm going to let this sit another 24 hours. And I'm going to come back and scrub it tomorrow. All right, y'all, back on the next day. Got my gloves, got my steel scrubby, and got this. It's looking pretty gross. Let's get up in there and see what's happening. Roll them sleeves up. Let's 
Strap it up. This time, I'm definitely gonna get up in there with this. So let's pull it out. See what it's looking like so far. Let's just take this and yeah I think I'm good honestly I think all of this that it's showing on the outside is just surface rust that'll come off real easy I was mainly concerned with what's on the inside of these For the inside, I think it's going to be much better and easier to use the power tool first and the attachments on that. And then, if I need to, to come behind it to clean it up with this. But um, since I got those power tools. And that, those uh, wire brush attachments, I'm gonna just go ahead and get straight to that. I ain't gonna waste my time trying to do this by hand. But, you see all this stuff is coming straight off on the inside. So honestly, all of this could be hit up with uh, just this hand scrubby, but I think like I said already, um, I'd probably recommend the, the drill attachment just because it's it like it's going to be so much easier. But if y'all can see, just using this steel scrubby, um, it's getting everything off. I just don't want to go through that much, that tedious of a process for the inside of the kettles because the insides are 
a lot worse than the outside looks. See, once you get it to like this, I would consider this done. You know what I mean? I give it a nice dunk in there. I probably let this sit in there while I'm doing the rest of them. But um, after that, pull them out and give them all a good wash. Uh, and then we're gonna be getting some oil on them and curing them so we can actually use them again but I'll go ahead and get my drill attachments and we're gonna start knocking this stuff off the inside see if y'all can see what it's actually looking like on the inside of those see still a little bit of rust spots on there a little bit unevenness stuff at the bottom if y'all can see that yep so it's just gonna be a lot easier for me to knock that off with the uh wire brush power uh attachment power tool attachment so i'll be back all right so got a drill with the attachment um Got some safety glasses. Want to make sure you you got some of these when you're dealing with this type of wire uh, wire brush attachments. Last thing you want is to catch a piece of wire in the eye. So got this tightened now. I'm gonna see what it do for this one first. Like this and knock that off nice. Now I'll try to show y'all that it's uh it's doing good, but you know, time to switch up these attachments a little. See what the other ones like, but right there in the middle, in the center, knock everything off. So we're gonna try a few of these different attachments and uh clean it up and see what it's looking like. Oh, and y'all can see right there, knock some off. So coming off easy um clean it up a little better and then show y'all what it's looking like the one on the left uh ain't as bad i'm uh, going for the the worst one first Ew. all right so after hitting it with the wire brush uh throwing it back in there and letting it sit got some type of skim on the top of this that rust color and uh I think this was deep in, up in something and got a chance to get out now so I'm just scrape this off the top and it's like foam it's like a foam t foamy type texture you don't tell them what this is man. But it's nice to see that, you know what I mean, some of this uh, crud that's 
deep down embedded in there is out. Alright. That'll be about good enough. So. Pull this back out. Got my power tool back again. And, um. I figured today probably a good day to finish this up. I had some more time to soak after I done hit it with the wire brush already. So, um, and I, I feel like I cleaned it up pretty good last time. So, I don't know how much more I'm going to actually need to do. A little bug up in there. Hey, I'm feeling nice today. A little cricket. Alright, now you can't just be. I don't know what that was. All right, so I got them two cleaned up real good. Um, so I went ahead and put this top on this, the second one. And now I just want to flush them out real good with straight water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna angle my uh, spouts where my, where my nasty bin already at. And uh, getting dark they were still uh, I don't know if y'all seen it from the beginning I was pouring them out hopefully y'all got a good shot but it started out still pouring out black and um, tried to get both of them to a point where they're pouring out 
clear for the most part. Um, so one last pour. Let's see where we at. Yep, clear. I don't know if y'all can see it as good as I can see. Like I said, it's getting dark out here, but. Now at this point, I'll go ahead and take both of those inside, put them in the sink, and give them a nice uh, soapy scrub with the um, the steel scrubby pad, and you know just some uh, dish soap. So that's what we headed to next. So now I pretty much got them all the way cleaned up as much as I wanted to. Um, you're going to see some spots of this is still some, you know, surface rust on both of them. But when I put this first coat of oil on, um, it should pretty much rub all of that off. So I'm using grapeseed oil and... Um, Got some extra fast food napkins that I'm going to use. First off, give it a nice little just dusting, you know, knock off as much just standing powder rust as I can. Hopefully I don't gotta come back and hit these spots. See if this take care of it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the inside and use that to work everything. All right, so pretty much wrapping up with uh, putting on the first coat of oil back on both of these kettles. Um, 
Hopefully y'all can see it's taken care of that visible rust that you could see. Um, now, these have been sitting for a while, so I'm gonna just let these sit and let this oil sit and you know absorb into all of this real good, real well. Um, and I may even put an, another, you know, come back and put another little coat of oil on before I actually start seasoning these. Um, so I'm gonna take these back inside, you know, just let them sit, sit open, let that oil, let that oil, uh, you know, just sit on here and absorb and let just dry out a little bit. See what it looks like after that. Um, Cause I'm still not sure if I want to clean it up more. So I'm gonna see how it looks after letting this oil sit on here, and then decide whether I want to put another light coat and start seasoning or not. All right, so both of these kettles are nice and oiled up and they've just been sitting with oil on them for uh, over 24 hours. So now I just so happen to, I literally have just placed these on this, uh, this wood burning stove and I'm, you know, running it right now. You can see this fan, this uh, heat fan I got on there that's going. Um, just thought, you know, I got wood up in there right now burning. So I just thought I'm just going to let these uh, season. All right, y'all. Uh, so at this point, I think I'm about done. Uh, both of these cast iron kettles have had ample time to season on on top of this wood stove you know with fire going that's how I seasoned them and uh, they both look good to me our sides look nice and smooth maybe y'all can see in the inside of this one some on the inside of the very bottom was the most uneven I guess so those are the places that have the most glaze I guess you'll say is this one um this one like I said I think this one was newer so this one uh was the inside was a lot more even but I think we got some nice finishes on these inside of this one looks good too that one's nice and smooth down there so they both cleaned up nicely um and they're done so this is the complete finish uh seasoning you know restoring two cast irons rusted up so if this helped you at all go ahead and leave a like got any questions hit up the comment box and uh subscribe to the channel and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace out for now squad